I am so excited. I'm with Samantha Helen. I already know she's amazing because I've seen what you've done online and you're incredible. Oh, thank you so much. So what are we going to be doing? So today, Lindsay, we are going to be turning you into a spooky skeleton. Spooky skeleton. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to be using is a few face paints and just a little bit of eyeshadow. So you're not going to need too many products. So are you ready to get turned into a spooky skeleton? Um, wait. Hang on, get the hair out of the way. <laughs> okay, I am now. Okay, Lindsay, so what we have got here is some water activated face paint. So all you need is a glass of water, a brush, and obviously your face paint to get started. So I am gonna pop my brush into the water. Now, when we're making a skeleton, I always like to use the white first, okay? So this is gonna go all over. Okay, Are you ready? here we go. Okay. <laughs> so it might feel a little bit cold. It's nice. Is it nice? It'd be like a little facial, actually. Oh, great. Okay, so we're gonna pop this all over the forehead to start off with. How do you know how thick to do it? So it's depending on the paint, really. If you do have makeup on beforehand, um, I would do it a little bit thicker. But because you've got really, really nice, clean, fresh skin, we can just pop the paint straight over. And this type of paint, because it is water activated, it's just dependent on how much water you pop in the paint to make it as thick as you want it. So if you want a thin coat, just to put, put sort of like a little bit more water. But if you do want a nice thick white base, I tend to pop a little less water to make it a bit thicker. Cool. So this is just gonna go all over the skin. So do you always start with like making the whole face one colour? Yeah. Is that the best way to do it? Yeah, definitely. Always start off with your base. It's kind of like as if you were painting your nails. Always have a really nice base coat for the girlies at home and then kind of just work on top of it there as well. So you are going to look a little bit more dead, but I think that's the kind of look that we're going for. Yeah. <laughs> Big swoop all the way around the face should get you a nice clean line. So guys, we're gonna go around the mouth and nose area. So just make sure that if you are doing this at home, they either drink through a little bit of a straw or they just don't open the mouth when you're doing it because it's not gonna taste the nicest. Oh. Okay, so at the minute, it looks like we've got a bit of a superhero mask on, so we're gonna go up and across and make sure we get all those final areas. Now, guys, there's a reason why we are actually leaving um, the two eye sockets open. It's just if we painted everything in white, Lindsay, what would happen is, as soon as we would paint the black over the top, it would go gray, yeah. so we need to make sure that we're leaving that just nice and open for the black paint. Okay guys, so we are going to move on to the second stage. Now as you can see, we have got our skeleton face. Now you don't know what you look like just yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can see my nose, it's quite white. <laughs> so what we are going to do now guys, is just move on to the black face paint. So this is going to go into the eyes. So for a little bit she might look like a panda until we get the nostrils and the teeth on there, but don't worry. You could do a Halloween panda. If you're at home thinking, hey, that's a great idea, keep watching. Half of this tutorial is panda, <laughs> then it goes skeleton. Yeah. So I'm going in with another brush, 
separate to your white because you don't want to make it too grey. And we're just going to fill in all of the eye socket area. So I shut my eyes? Yes, please. That's a really, really great tip. So whenever you're using water activated paint, just make sure that you're closing the eyes. The great thing about it being water activated, if it does get in your eyes, don't worry at all. It blinks straight out, okay? So this is just going to be really, really nice and soft around the eye area. And if you are afraid of getting it in the eyes, just take it up to just underneath the waterline. And what you can do is fill the rest in with like a black eyeshadow. So that's a really great tip if you're a little bit scared of putting paint too close to the eye area. You can see that's just going to completely get all of those little areas. I feel so weird. <laughs> like I can definitely feel it. I can feel it in my eyebrows. They've okay. gone all hard. Stiff. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. So with our skeleton. We are now going to pop a little nose on there, so nothing too complicated. This is where I use just a normal paintbrush, so you can get this just from a generic craft shop. And we're just going to paint. It's almost like two teardrops that are going to go on the end of your nose. I think the nose is what makes it really scary. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more deathly, I guess. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of the nose on, we are going to start working onto the face before we start going in and adding all of the detail. So for this, I love to use these really long, um, thin paint brushes. It just really helps sort of with lines um, because it does all of the work for you actually. So we're going to go in with that. So Lindsay, tickle factor underneath your nose was a 10. This is about a 20. Okay. Uh -oh. We are going to well, be going. I did find it ticklish under my nose, so That's hopefully great. I'll be okay. okay. So we're going to go from the inner corner of the mouth all the way up to the cheekbone, okay? As if it's going to be a really spooky smile. Now what we need to do is start to draw on some teeth. So. We are going to be doing some tiny little lines that are going to go up and across of the lip. Just in the centre. Honestly, you're so good. I am the most tickliest. That was really was ticklish, quite ticklish. I'm, <laughs> I'm the most ticklish person. That would have driven me crazy. It is ticklish. We are going to start adding some shadows all the way around the eye sockets. Oh, that's a nice palette. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's really, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, magpie, makeup magpie. So we're going to use the black all the way around the eye socket and just a little bit around the jawline as well. So I've just got a nice sort of fluffy brush for this one.
So guys, the, one of the last steps with the eyeshadow, we're just gonna go around the jawline just to really carve out those deathly bones. <laughs> We have carved out all of the shadows on the skeleton. So the last thing that we need to do is just go in with a gray uh, paint. So we're gonna mix the black and the white together. And we're just gonna make a few more hollowed out sections. Okay, and then we will do the grand reveal. So guys, um, if you ever want to actually create a color, paints um, and face paints are just like the ones we have at school. So you can always mix your colors together. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy every single color. do is add some detail. Now with our skeleton I'm just going to add some cracks using the black face paint and that lovely thin brush that we used on the mouth. about done. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a mirror and I'm gonna let you see what you look like, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. And open. Whoa! <laughs> that is really good. I look horrible. I mean, in the best possible way. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. You did that so fast as well. Well, we want you to like, you know, be able to do this at home. So this is wow. the best option to do something a bit quick, but something really, really fun as well. Oh my gosh. I wish I'm going to go to a Halloween party right now. <laughs> wow, I look amazing. You are, you are seriously talented. Oh, thank you, thank so you so much. much. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. I'm never taking it off. Hello, Richie here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlists, like this video, and if you want to watch brand new Blue Peter, head to the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.